This video review is being brought to you by Prime Toys, primetoys.net. For your Transformer needs, go check out primetoys.net for your collector grade Transformers for your collect not the collector grade prices. primetoys.net. Hey guys, Dinobot Maximize here for another video review for you. And as you can see, we're going to look at Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Blackjack. Very cool little figure, small, tiny. You know, not, not micro, not uh, minicon size, but legend class. Still, pretty cool little figure. Nice color scheme on him. But before we really get into him, and speaking of his molds and everything, let's look at his accessories. We have his collector's card here. Neat, neat artwork for him. If you didn't know, Blackjack actually was a micro master in the original G1. Uh, I believe he was part of the sports car patrol for the Decepticons in that line. Uh, I actually don't believe he was really showed much in the cartoons or anything to my knowledge. I do know he had a small role in the, figuratively speaking, in the uh, Marvel Comics line. Where uh, in the 56 through 60... 659 60 issue story arc with the return of Megatron blackjack played a little role in that at least I believe it's blackjack I might be mistaken on that I should have really checked on that before I did this but anyhow what's uh, what else we have here we have courses instruction sheet again the artwork on this is very nice blackjack shows we'll opening the sheet up here basically shows about a, again a seven step transformation for him so and he's got you got a little image here what we're going to where he goes to because he does combine with Minasaur which we will get into that at another time when I do the my Minasaur review I do apologize uh, we'll show that but let's look at Blackjack shall we now Blackjack's a small little car great very de detailed work nice dark colors nice gold paint here for the windows and you got the purple his purple weapon that sits up here, which, as most of you don't know and know on this figure, and I kind of got it even before this, I could see it coming. This is going to be a good Rodimus mold, and it actually is going to be a Rodim Rodimus mold. He's uh, the next way, or one of the next waves that's coming out pretty soon, is the uh, basically Ultra Prime mold. Uh, or Mega Prime, where it's got the basically it's got Hot Rod or Rodimus being used in Blackjack's mold. Where Prime, of course, Prime is the remold of Black. It's the you know a different colored mold of the original leader or excuse me Voyager Prime, which was used as Motormaster, which is going to be used again for Prime, uh, and four other Autobots of Sunstreaker, uh, Prowl, Mirage, and Ironhide. Gonna be his combined team, and you know, right, this is gonna be part of it as the, the armor is like uh, with this guy. But enough of that, let's get right into this transformation. Um, before we fully get into it, his weapon does come off of there, and for his armor, you can pin basically what you do is you have him in his vehicle mode and you peg it in the weapon back into him, and these little peg holes right there, like so, and that's basically it. You peg it in to Motormaster right there. Or you can you can actually even use it on Prime if you really wanted to, but basically that's the trick. But we'll show all that combination when I do my Minasaur review. But well for now we'll just take this weapon and we'll set it aside. And we're going to transform Blackjack into his robot form. To do so is very simple. Step one, basically, you bring the pop the arms loose here. You'll want to unpeg the legs, separate them out. You'll then fold these arms all the way out, like so, off the hinges here. Basically fold them out like, like that. You'll then bring this whole section down and fold it over, pulling it down because of the hinge here, and swinging it back across it into his back area. Flipping this panel down and over into his chest and that's basically it you turn 
his arms around like so the elbow and there's blackjack in his robot form it's simple just like with uh, other view of bombshell you know these are very simple transformation that's what basically what you get for a legends class figure now as what before we get put his weapon on him we're going to look at his articulation his head does move it is a little bit of a ball joint there he can turn it all the way around he and he can just barely just a, this is a smidgen bit of articulation where you can move it up just, i mean just a very little bit not much Actually, if you want to, you could do like that as well, just to give him that little head look. He's got on the ball joint here in the, in the shoulder. It can turn all the way around, but as you saw there, the wheel does kind of impede it some with that. There is the hinge here in the elbow area, and it does swivel all around like so. Uh, no hand articulation, of course. The waist... There is no swivel in the waist at all. You do have ball joints there in the hip. To, you know, for this type of articulation that way. You do have the knee as well. And that's basically it. That's all, basically all for his articulation. You can see in his back, you know, he's got everything basically in his back. He's got these, do have these open spaces back here in his legs, but that's still no big deal. You want to have those little open gaps in most figures. Weapon, he can hold on to his weapon. Like so. Basically have like an axe or a mace, whichever you want to call it. Like, like so. But that's basically all it is. And that's basically going to be all for this review, guys. I do recommend you picking this up, especially if you want to add them to your... You know, Minasaur combination team because he does make a good addition to them. Basically, he if you have the uh, G1 Motor Master, the little car roller that he had that basically would plug into his chest in his uh, Minasaur mode. That's basically what this guy represents. It brings Blackjack in to take its place, and it does in vehicle mode. He does look very much like that, but. Uh, as I said, guys, I do recommend picking this guy up to add to your motor, your Stunticon collection. And where can you pick this guy up? Why well, you can pick him up, of course, at PrimeToys.net. Uh, I'm not sure if he's in stock currently, but he's there. I will post a link below to picking him up. I highly recommend you do. And if you use, if you want to, there's a little website called Transmissions Podcast. Check them out. Listen there. Great group of guys who talk about everything Transformers comics figures third party cut video games anything you can think of they talk about it they even have some good interviews with a lot of your comic book artists and voiceover artists like they've had john paul volve great great guy to listen to if you ever heard one of their shows with him on there definitely worth listening to uh but uh they have a, there's currently a code with them we can go online go to primetoys.net with code transmissions uh, free or excuse me transmissions july for the month for this month just this month only now for the month of july you can go in there and put this code in and it'll give you 10 percent off of your purchase so you can go in and get a you know blackjack you can get bombshell you can get a couple of the other stunt cons get 10 percent off your order there you go great deal guys but once again, guys, as always, please like, comment, and share on this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And this is Domino saying I hope to hear from you all soon, and thanks for watching.